Welcome everyone to our first ever Digital Manufacturing Insight Talk. My name is Jens Beisel, Head of Marketing here at Modiworks, and I'm here with my dear colleague Heiko Weber, Head of Digital Manufacturing at Modiworks. Hi Heiko. Hey Jens. So in this first Insight Talk, we'd like to do a short review of the year 2020 and share some really cool highlights with you. Speaking of shorts, as we review an entire year, still this first video will be about six minutes. So grab a coffee, lean back and enjoy the talk. The next videos will be much shorter than this one. Even though 2020 has been a very challenging year for more or less any company on this planet, uh, we were very fortunate to still come up with uh, many great machining features for our customers and partners. And maybe let's start with a topic that's probably one of the more crucial ones. Uh, let's talk about productivity. I've learned that um, we have achieved significant productivity increases in our existing products. Is that about right, Heiko? Yeah, that's right. Um, so productivity is a key element of the Come Value Stream, and therefore we strive each year for new innovation products and features around that subject. And generally, we steer our development with that. Mm -hmm. Adaptive roughing is a good sample uh, to to come along with this uh, and. As adaptive roughing becomes a more and more de facto industry standards for many industries. This year, we push again for more productivity and select uh, applications with uh, very extreme hard materials. And so we develop features with very detailed impact to the pattern. Uh, but those little impacts you won't even recognize have a significant impact to the machining result. And uh, generally speaking, could be the success or the non-success of the application. And in the worst case, a broken tool. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I know that adaptive roughing has been part of our portfolio for quite a while now. So um, it's great to see that obviously uh, we're still taking care of it and optimizing it. That's very nice. Yep. Um, you've talked about uh, adaptive roughing uh, being an existing product. Um, what about any newcomers in our portfolio? Do we have any new products? Yes, sure. Um, a good sample is maybe 3 plus 2 roughing, uh, which is a very smart tool finding automatically uh, the index position for your roughing process. And generally, the user don't need to manually search for these positions. In combination with the uh, th uh, with our modern 3x HSM kernel, it's a very powerful solution and it gets proven that that is one of the best solutions you can find for your dying board applications. Okay, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Um, now that we've talked about productivity increase, one closely related factor to that, of course, is the human factor, mm -hmm. um, namely the machine operator. So Modiworks obviously has invested um, a lot of know-how into intelligent um, algorithms, enabling, let's say, the common operator to safely and efficiently use our software. Um, so as I understand it, you don't really have to be a super experienced pro user to actually use our technology. Is that correct? Right. Um, I mean, like the 3 plus 2 roughing, uh, we, we, we see the need of developing a complex algorithm, but have a high attention to the simple workflow, which, which the user have to accept. And, um, I think rotary machining is a good first step, uh, we, uh, we did where we apply that simple three axis, um, roughing pattern and combine that with a rotation axis. So generally the user will feel the same complexity of the workflow. Another good success is, I think, deburring. Um, deburring is not new to the industry. Mm -hmm. So since many years, people are uh, creating deburring operations. But many users select a manual process for, for deburring as they want to avoid the heavy programming uh, load. And with the deburring model, we could enable a very easy to use, a very simple uh, workflow to achieve very complex deburring tool passes from three up to full five axis simultaneous. Okay. Um, in this context, um, how about or what about barrel tools? I mean, um, as a marketing guy, I have observed that uh, the barrel tool or circle segment tools uh, as, a, as a group of tools um, are heavily being promoted in the industry. So they seem to have very big potential, but also they come along with uh, more complex workflows using classical CAM strategies. So does that match your perception as well? Absolutely. So happy that you are here from the marketing department. <laughs> Good that you get that perception uh, because yeah, for sure, barrel tools and as you mentioned, circuit segment scatters are heavily promoted in the industry. Um, besides our generic cycles, which we enhance for the purpose, for instance, auditor capable of you know dealing with these tools, 
Uh, we also launched with a new multi-axis machining finish strategy, mm -hmm. which is really a dedicated application which knows the capabilities of the tools, but also the limitations and can deal easily uh, with the challenges to apply them in, for instance, generic three-axis uh, pockets. But you will have a five-axis output, a uh, 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 five-axis process, but a similar workflow like a simple three-axis pocket. Thank you. Yeah. Last but not least, I'd like to shortly touch on the topic of, uh, let's say, infrastructural improvements, mm -hmm. so to say. Um, I heard we have improved many of our existing features uh, in various ways. So would you be able to maybe pick out a few of those and put us in the picture about what exactly has been improved? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're talking about the hidden stars. Um, so not everything we do is fancy and famous. Um, so to consolidate your code base is maybe not that nice uh, in, in terms of uh, how, you, how you express it. Um, but for instance, in the Gauge J core, uh, we did some massive refactoring. Um, just showing the depths of the, the refactoring level to, to achieve really a, a computation boost um, is, is showing that uh, Javos, our founder, was uh, asked from the team uh, to get involved and to, to consult the team as, as he owns these old fragments of the, of the code here. <laughs> okay, so even our CEO was still burning for that, uh, for that topic. Again. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, we are very happy to have access to him, so nice. he can consult very simply. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, now we have talked a lot about uh, toolpath. Obviously, uh, a question would be, what about simulation? Right, simulation. Uh, good that you asked. We could achieve again a major step uh, like every year. Um, so you can imagine that the simulation product um, have a continuous objective in terms of performance as in itself simulations every time around the compromise of simulation quality mm -hmm. and the speed you need or the computation time you need. Um, you should know that the, the cutting core, uh, the simulation core, is not only used to visualize, visualize uh, simulation results, it's also used in, from other consumers like a CAM solution which enables stock management to understand the in-process stock between operations. Uh, and every time if you change something, you again simulate um, the, the result to get the new updated um, in-process stock. And here all consumers benefiting really from the faster response time. Okay, well, there's only one thing left to say. Thank you so much, Heiko. Um, it was a really good time having you. Thanks for your time. It's been really great to hear about some of the highlights uh, that we had in the digital manufacturing business area released uh, in 2020. Thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you as well. Thanks for the opportunity. Great. Thanks. Well, thank you for uh, watching us. We hope we could provide you some interesting insights into the activities of the digital manufacturing business area here at Modelworks. As I said, this was the very first video of a series of much shorter videos in the future. So stay tuned and make sure that you also check us out on our website, uh, our YouTube channel and social media. Thanks again. Bye for now and see you later.